Hi guys, Ronnie here. Today I want to talk a bit about tubeless inflation. Now, if you have used tubeless ready wheels or tubeless tires uh, for some time, then you probably know that inflating them and having them seated on the rim is not as simple as with a standard clincher, and you need a large volume of air entering the tire at a pretty high rate, and that's something that even the best floor pumps sometimes struggle to offer unless you really want a good workout before you ride. Now, pump wise, I'm using the uh, Silka Super Piste Ultimate, which is an excellent little pump, but uh, yeah, it's still not capable of seating any kind of rim and tire combination. Now, these new zips uh, they have. A very clever design for the internal bead uh, in the tire, so they're very easy to inflate with uh, both tires that I've tried so far, even with just a pump. But uh, the MVs, on the other hand, the 7.8s, I have really, really struggled with those. So I needed to use both a compressor and my Schwalbe tire booster, which is basically just a rebranded air shot and today I want to review uh, this little item so uh, what uh, does this really do so you can see it's a metal container and you have a pressed valve on top of it and you've got another valve which you can open and close uh, and then you got a hose which again goes on to press the valve to your wheel. So what uh, you're going to do with this is you take your regular fuel pump, you pressurize the container uh, through the press the valve. Of course, uh, the main valve is then closed. Then you take the hose, screw it on to your uh, tubeless valve with the tire on. You open the valve and the tire should pop uh, onto its place uh, forced there by the surge of air high pressure air coming from the container now some people uh, like to use an air compressor and so do I and it's very good for all kinds of tires from fat bikes to road tires but sometimes even the compressor itself can't generate enough surge uh, enough pressure in a short period of time to seat the most stubborn tubeless star combinations uh, like the MVs in fact so that's when you use a, con a container like this one and the main reason I bought this is because well when I go to a cyclocross race I can't really take uh, a compressor with me because it's an industrial grade compressor and you can see uh, uh, the hoses are with pressurized air are well basically spread throughout the workshop so you can connect it anywhere so it's kind of built in and definitely not something you can fit uh, into a regular passenger car and since cyclocross is really off road the conditions can change dramatically and I want to change uh, tars well if I want to change tars for example then yeah, these zips are quite easy to inflate, but just to be sure, you know, you need to have this little portable device uh, for safety. But uh, let's just start talking about how does this really work or how does it perform? Well, it does exactly what it's advertised, but I think the design could really, really be better. So my first issue with this is the capacity itself. Now, uh, as you can see this is not I think it's not more than one and a half liters or such and it's really only enough for sitting one tubeless tire which uh, well basically any bicycle I know has two wheels yeah so I really like to have a capacity at least for those two tires so I don't need to reinflate reconnect and you know 
and do it in two steps that was equal one bike in two steps then another thing is uh, basically the design of, of the container itself really should have a stable wide base like a floor pump for example because it's really awkward you know you put uh, the valve on there and it just like, very easy to tip over and you can't really uh, do anything with it unless it's in this position and that would be a problem uh, if the hose was a bit, bit longer or actually a lot longer same as for example on a floor pump because well it's just really really awkward to operate and then if I go uh, to the top of the canister the Presta valve it's high quality that's okay but this little valve it has a plastic lever on it so well this is not a very expensive or premium item but still I would I would rather have it uh, cost a bit more but you can see the valve itself that's very high quality looks quite cheap and yeah the plastic lever uh, shouldn't be there this should really be a more heavy duty item and yeah the hose I've already mentioned it's very short makes it quite awkward to use and the connector for the Presta valve is is not ideal because it's well, it's a threaded unit you, could, you can put it on all Presta valves even if there's no valve core in there so yeah that's the main point removing it uh, to get more air flowing in there but it really could be something quicker like like this Presta head I have here plus I think it would be quite useful to uh, have it uh, compatible with, with the Schrader valve uh, too so yeah these these would be the things I would change uh, with this design so it's definitely not ideal but well it works it's a bit awkward but it does the job but I think uh, the guys from Silka will be working on something like this very soon because they usually solve all kinds of uh, inflation related problems that come from these simple cheap designs okay so this was my uh, little review of the Schwalbe uh, tire booster uh, and a bit of tech background from tubeless inflation if you'd like to see more about the wheel sets I've been talking about or my complete bikes and how they are built then don't forget to tune into my channel and subscribe it's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time